basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you basic tips how to get installed the uh, AG2 Runner Interceptor on a, a new SUV 2016 Ford Explorer. So on this actual part of the uh, runner, it tells you which side is the A or the B side. So on this car, most of the times we use the rear side of the SUV to run the wires because it's actually easier and safer. So I'm going to show you how to get this installed and then we go from there, alright? On the SUVs, especially on all the Explorers, it has a plastic section. And if you can feel it with your hands, it starts on the actual trim of the door on the lower part. Uh, just about an inch and a half, almost two, on the front, and then you go back on the rear. And you can see it right here, okay? What you're gonna do is, you're gonna put the actual runner, and you're gonna lay it out, and you're gonna present it with the plastic. As you see, the plastic, I, like I was talking about, is right here. So you're gonna use the rubber boot of the runner and set it up like right there, and flush with the plastic part, as you see here, that's how it should be mounted in. That's how the actual runner goes in, okay? How are we gonna keep it close to the plastic part? This is the next section that we're gonna go in. Our lifts are kind of uh, being used right now, so we're on the ground, and we're gonna find out the way, best way to get, the, uh, get you rolling with the runners. So, like we see right now, we're under the car, and then uh, you see the marks. If you look at the actual SUV, there's some marks on the trim underneath the car. You're gonna mark those with a marker. You're gonna make a straight line, okay? Marking those, and then you're gonna preset the runners right here so you can see the line as soon as you put the runners. So on a bench test or a table, whatever's uh, best for you, with the line that you already made inside, underneath the car, like I said, you're gonna use about, uh, I'll say half an inch, and then you're gonna mark it right and exactly where you make that mark is where you're gonna make the hole and it should be the exact same spot for the beam inch uh, under the car so this hole here is where you're gonna run the wire there's a grommet on the upper side of the SUV inside the cabin that you're gonna run the wires towards the center console or towards wherever you're gonna be putting the controller um, and then Using the clamp that is already inside, uh, um, the, excuse me, the clamp that is already on the wire and you're gonna tap it with a self-tapper right here on the top of the metal so it doesn't have a wire dangling down. So, it is the grommet, it's right under here. <clears throat> this, is, this is the actual grommet that you're gonna be taking off. And if you look inside, you'll see how bright it is from underneath up if you got a light facing down. Okay? So this is the grommet that you're going to take off. Okay? And then you're going to use this thing, just make a little hole in the center with a pick tool or anything that you can go through it and then run the wire through. So we were talking about that this is the hole that you're going to be using. That is not the hole, the actual hole. It's right here, and it's next to the actual bracket for the uh, rear control arm. Left side control arm, and you'll see it, it's like a little sim. If you already got the actual grommet off, if you look through it, you'll see the light, and then that's where you're gonna run the wire through. And then you're gonna put uh, the actual uh, clamp that you have in the wire and self-tap it here so the wire's not dangling down, okay? So that's it.